Hey everyone, Pupsker here. We have Nightwave Nora's Mix Volume 7 available now. Look at that beautiful title card they gave us with. I'll just take a quick screenshot. Uh, everyone screenshot that right now. It's very beautiful. So we are getting a stalker themed Nightwave. Stalker in action glyph. Reckoning mask. Oh god, you can't see it on mine. I'm so sorry. Looks cool though. Looks cool. Like a little head and a mouthpiece. We have a stalker specter. So I guess that's a thing now. New Stalker Spectre, Deathmark Shoulder Armor. Okay, no, that shoulder armor looks sick as... No, this is really good tier. Good tier shoulder armor. I like it. I like it. Don't care about the mask, but that one is better. Oh, a Stalker Mark Sumdali. As well as Unseen Dread. And we'll go over the entirety of the new Nightwave. Become invisible for five seconds when you strike three or more enemies with a single projectile. Deal 175% more critical damage with Dread while invisible. So if you use Dread, if you're going invisible, and if you're killing a lot of enemies, you're going to do more damage off crits. So, not bad. Let's go take a look at Nightwave. Nothing huge popping up here. We do have the Lotus Eater's hotfix itself, which I did want to bring up very briefly. There is a 20 or like 25% increase in drop rates for, I think they said reactant for void relics, but let's just take a look. And then you can quickly see that, oh yeah, a lot of things are buffed. A lot of things are buffed, Lotus Eaters. I'm not seeing the one that they just hotfixed. Okay, it's because they haven't put it up on the website yet. That makes sense. Math checks out. It's just not even updated yet. But yeah, we should be getting more reactant with running uh, Void Shards now. So yeah, that's not really too bad. Let's take a look at the actual Nightwave. Popping up down here. Nightwave status. And Nightwave Nora's Mix Volume What's 7. I don't think she has any new dialogue. Okay. Yeah, the new little credits look cool though. They just, you know, made it edgy, red, black, and gave it the stalker mark, so. Makes sense. We have collect resources, so play the game, good weekly. Uh, complete invasion missions of any type. Oh, I guess we'll do that. Complete a defense mission to wave 20, kill enemies, kill enemies, kill Eximus, and collect different types of resources. So, overall, it's a really easy week to complete. Just play the game, run invasions, and run a 20 wave defense. And that's all you should do. Complete mission, electricity, collect resource. Yeah, nothing hard at all, actually. The permanent weeklies are saviors because it's just like play the game enough and you get a lot of loot. Yeah, the stalker's blueprint is infinite. Oh, that's sweet. Okay, let's take a look. We have credits first. We have the stalker sigil, smokescreen sigil. Two weapon slots, so make sure you get those, right? You can't not have weapon slot. Again, the face mask, but it doesn't show up well on my operator, so... Sorry about that. Not really the best look there. Norse Mix, Nightwave, Credits, Stalker Blueprint. Not that expensive to build. You have an infinite amount of it, like infinite right there. I think people will probably like this the most. Maybe I'll even make this the thumbnail. You never know, okay? Some good new Nightwave stuff. No, I'm going to make that title card the thumbnail. Two-handed Nakana skin. I think I, yeah, I already own this one. It is a really good skin. I should use it more. But yeah, it's a nice uh, Nightwave skin, right? I don't think it's unique to Nightwave, though. I can't remember where I first got it, like where it first dropped. Oh, well. Either way, credits. You get a wolf salute. That's old stuff as well, because wolf. Melee Riven mod. Aww. The stalker Mark some dolly. Looks good. I just don't care about some dollies too much. Of course, Forma. We have the Saturn 6 Sayonana. Oh, I don't know if that's new. I didn't partake, I think, in the Wolf of Saturn 6, so I'm assuming this is a repeat but I could be wrong, but I probably haven't gotten it yet. So if it's new, nice. And if it's not, not shocking. Another Nightwave Arcane Precision. Not bad, not bad. Oh, let me throw in D&D. Throw that in the bottom here. We have Burning Hate. Oh God, that actually looks pretty cool. When hate damages enemies inflicted with heat status, they become vulnerable to 120% more status damage. Hey, not bad, not bad. Stalker, da 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 da. Specter, Stalker Specter is definitely just the best. I'm just gonna hype up Stalker Specter, okay? Because the it's just so good. Stalker Specter is just so good. Yeah. So go get on it. New night waves here. One, two. Sorry, I had to look at my phone. It's getting messages about the new Stalker update. Okay. So burning hate. 
it seems really good with hate. Because it's a melee, so hate's gonna kill now. Heat, hate, more vulnerable status damage. Pair the heat, hate with someone else who is using the harmony and just get all the damage on him. <laughs> uh, there's the stalker in action glyph. Looks pretty cute. It's not like huge, but it's pretty cute. Warframe slot, waveform ephemera. Not too shabby. That's a repeat if you haven't realized. We have Stance Forma, The Reckoning Oculus. Oh my god, Jesus. Okay, I, sorry, I forgot how demented my operator looked. With all the bloodshed sigil on her. Yeah, not bad. Okay, not bad. We have the Nightwave Landing Craft, if you haven't gotten it before, but I sadly have. Unseen Dread, the previous invisibility, more damage, critical damage with using Dread. You gotta pierce through three people. Yeah, it's a good mod, I guess, if you plan to use it. Hey, illicit domestic drone. That's pretty cute. I always love when they add little domestic drones. Then you have just a little little earpiece. Nothing huge for rank 28. And then last but not least is the shoulder piece. These are definitely the coolest cosmetic out of this whole thing. And the stalker specter is definitely one of the nicer things. So now you can summon a stalker to your ship. You just have to get level six night wave. And that'll take you, what, like up like a week or two? I'm like, this isn't quite 60,000, but if you do dailies, might get a little faster. So a couple weeks right there. I think that is all to Nightwave. Let's look at the credit offerings and see if there's anything like brand new sitting in here. Cause I don't think there would be right now, but there should be new stuff later on. So keep that in mind. They have some of these mods, so remember to pick up any of these if you don't have them, as well as all of the weapons, like the Glaive Blueprint if you want, Dark Sword, but some of these could also be picked up just in the market. I think Glaive could probably be picked up, the Blueprint for market. I just double check. Check in the market first. Bunch of helmets here. Oh, it's high to own, not hide built. So you got a lot of that. Saturn 6 scene's a really good capture uh, scene, so use that if you want. Singularity, oh, a Nyx augment mod. Okay, you have the Dark Dagger blueprint, Emissary stuff. Gricotta, Tetra, and a Latrin mod. So grab those. Grab Vobin, Oregon Catalyst, reactors are always really good. I don't need any more reactors. I have enough for what years of Warframe, so we're done there. But I could always use more Oregon Catalysts, but you know how it is in Warframe. You just grind the game so much, you have so much loot, guns, and everything that you just kind of murder everything if you play the game long enough. And then the Kuva. So it looks like they haven't put anything new new in this Nightwave shop right now. But like the credit offering shop. But Nightwave itself brand new so yeah it looks like that is it everybody they keep memeing spider frame by the way so i don't know if this definitely confirms there's gonna be a spider warframe based warframe right spider frame or if like de just loves to shit post it everyone so much more who knows steve keeps bringing up uh spider frame they brought up spider frame in the latest one of the latest i should say hot fixes on the red text so yeah, we're go we're looking at the pager. It says, uh, God, who stole my kind page? Something like that. So if you want to go check that out, we'll take a look. But the Lotus Eaters hotfix is now live. It's all live. Okay, the da -da -da. deuce number of consoles need to hack access vault three to one. So they made some updates, made generally stuff easier. One that people will probably like, increase the reactant drop rate in Void Fisher's missions by approximately 20%. So now hopefully reactant is dropping a lot easier. And if you're doing a fast capture, fast rescue, you don't have to care as much. Added input button, call out next to use cipher button while hacking. Yeah, just some general QOL type stuff, right? Just some general. And last but not least, everybody, if you haven't been looking at the Kind page, uh, this little thing right here, it's been having a message saying, who stole my Kind page? Uh? So I assume throughout until 1999 drops, we'll get like small, cute little messages on this Kind page. If you don't know what this is, it is the Warframe 1999 pre-quest Lotus Eaters um, item you get from that quest. It is just a decoration, but you can interact with it. And this is what it does right now. So nothing really. They'll only probably use it to tease some small stuff and be a little goofy with it until the release. 
Clicking stuff does nothing. It just flashes and yeah, that's it. That's it. That popped up before the red text, so I don't know when they really put that in game. Maybe it was the last hotfix, like point one point four, Or maybe it was just randomly they can update it at any time, which I could definitely assume they should be able to. But yeah, who really knows? I'm just a sleepy boy. Either way, that everybody is the Warframe update. Love it, hate it, check out Nightwave and get grinding. I still need to farm up like Sevagoth Prime, Epitaph Prime, and I think Nautilus Prime. So I'll probably do that while I do Nightwave. So let me know what you think, everybody. Epic Games creator code Pupsker. We're on Twitch. All the social media is in the description. Cheers.